Good evening everyone and welcome to another Mech Merlin stream. Hopefully everyone's doing great tonight. I see a find a human, nuclear monsters, wool, curiosity casualty, who else? Cloud Catastrophe, Davy John, and Hybrid Wolf. Thanks guys for joining in. But yeah, if you guys have never seen this board before, let's uh let's take a gander really quick. Take a gander of what the board looks like. Alright, this is the Highfinger 7.5, formerly known as the Extreme 75. In fact, when it was sent to me, I was told, Merlin, can you review the Extreme 75? But yeah, this is a $270 in-stock board with, this, with the following color options. I got the E-Black and a wired version PCB. But the most interesting thing about this keyboard is not so much its colors, but more its layout. Take a look at that. Um, this is designed to be a mini 980M. So think of 1800, but smaller. But, you know, after looking at it, after examining it for a few days, I think it can be best described more as a 40% with an added F row arrow keys and num cluster just because the main portion where the alpha keys are can be a 40 percent so yeah that's what it is check it out check it out this is when october 20th to november 20th i know i said october 20th during during the stream on sunday but i realized october 20th is asia time because right now it is still the 19th here so if i had Put my brain together that I would have said October 19th, not 20th. <laughs> well said, very tempting for how unique it is. It is definitely very unique. And based on my unboxing, the manufacturing and quality is actually top notch. Really, the only big issue is if you like the layout or not. So, yeah, let's get started. I got the Hot Swap PCB and I've actually already pre populated it with stabs. So relatively quick build tonight, hopefully. Um, one additional thing that I did is I changed out the hot swap configuration because as it comes to you, you're 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 kind of locked into the 2U backspace, the 2U plus and and enter on the numpad. I I don't really like that. So I changed it all to one U by soldering two additional hot swap sockets. And I did the same to each of the addition and the enter key, like so. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long tonight, especially since it is a hot swap board and I have all the, all the stabilizers in already. Yeah, I'm most interested in the feel. I've been told that this board sounds good, especially since it's got that PE foam in it. I'm not sure if I'll put the PE foam, to be honest. Oh, one thing about the PCB that I wanted to mention. Okay, check out this key over here. This is where the pipe symbol usually goes. Um, <laughs> since it's supposed to share like another key with uh, with um ISO. It's, I mean, it, it like shares like the same hole as the ISO uh, stabilizer. There's like an extra glob of solder just to keep it in place from falling off. That's a major pain point right there. So what do you guys think? Should I go with the P foam or should I forgo it? I'm kind of not really feeling it, but if you guys want me to, I'll put the P foam on. What do you, what do you guys think? Wool says no foam. No foam. Any other votes for no foam? Like I will be putting the rest of the phone in. A foam in. <laughs> Happy bot says no foam. No foam. No foam. Used the default experience. Okay. Looks like a lot of people say no foam. But what if I get FOMO? <laughs> yeah, tonight I will be using, let's see, 
alpaca switches. Simply because I just have a bunch of alpacas. And coincidentally, the customer's board in front of me also uses alpacas. So yeah, something to compare to, I guess. Both boards are gasket mounted. Just gasket mounted in a very different way. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. Love Pacas. Pacas are great. Pacas are very good. Here, let me put a softer cushioning in the back so I don't damage my desk mat. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do... <laughs> okay. So these are actually used alpacas, but I've made sure that all the legs are like clean. So no need to worry about damaging my hot swap sockets there. I do have to make sure the, that they are straight. It's the one caveat. Yeah, alpacas are like really good. I feel like they're one of the more, um... You know, a lot of people says like Gateron Yellows is the switch to get if it's your first time trying Linears. I think the next thing after Gateron Yellows is like alpacas. You know, it's, it's slightly more higher end, slightly more expensive, but just as available. When you found out what a goop buy was, you bought 8008 round two, thinking it would come in two weeks. Oh boy. Don't worry, that's actually a very common, common thing. Someone is happy! Gifting tier one subs? Dude, thank you. Thank you for those five tier one subs. Congratulations to Hammer Brother. Uoma, Comrade Questions, Luca the Dead, and Huynh. Thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity. And I'm realizing I may actually need to put a little bit more solder on those hot swap sockets that I put on. Because they're not holding as well as I was hoping. So let me, let me remedy that. What color board would Grand Tour look good on? I think I have a green or light blue, but would like other opinions. I think a vintage, beige-ish beige kind of white would look great. Okay. Let me grab some solder here really quick. I feel like I'm popping the socket. Don't want that to happen. Welcome, I just want to support Morales more. Dude, you are so sweet. Thank you. I'm not a full-time streamer quite yet. Not sure if I intend to be, but every little thing that, that, you, that you guys do for me ends up going back into the stream, either in the form of upgrading cameras, which is my current goal, or just, um, you know, getting more um, sponsors and all that. So thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Did I ever get GMK Kaiju? By the time I really decided on doing it, um, they were sold out. But I was like, eh, whatever. Another group buy will come. If I miss out on this one, big deal. Let me 
right. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit more solder as I can. Okay. It's up for sale. Oh, really? Okay. I'll have to check to take a look at it. I think it's a good looking set. Okay, and with that said, I may have to put additional solder on these other ones Just to be absolutely sure Ship date is December. That's not too far away Just in time for Christmas, I'd say That's good. I think that's good for the rest of the keys. We'll be good. I definitely did a better job soldering the hot stops here than I did there. So hopefully that doesn't come back and bite me later. <laughs> Please don't come back and bite me later. Ooh, I got a level two pipe train emote. Nice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome, thanks guys. This layout looks attractive to you, even though you're not usually on numpads. Yeah, it's an it's an attractive layout. I can agree with that, but but is it usable? That's something that I can't answer quite yet, especially since I'm not I'm not a forty percent user. Not so much a forty percent user, but you know. You can always learn to adapt. All right, got all those switches in. Oh, this guy, this guy's weird. This guy's not fun. Let's try a different switch. Let's, let's put this board together. Okay. I think we got it. You're gonna sit in place here. Like that. Okay. All right, this little diffuser here, don't really know how that goes on. I think it goes on the top case. That looks too short, kind of like Bubble 75. Okay, top case light. This little diffuser goes in there. This diffuser goes in there, I believe. So let's just stand up. 
So it works better if you put it in the case. Okay. Bubble 75 cord was hella short, really. Okay, this is going to be kind of difficult to install without the diffusers coming off, so... Don't fall off, don't fall off, please don't fall off. Did I do it right? Looks like I did, yes, I got it. Got it. Okay, let me screw it together. Mmm. I was unaware that the Bubble 75 was already, um, you know, shipping to people. That's pretty cool. There we go. It's, it's being detected. It's being detected. There we go. There it is. Yay! And with this, I can actually do a, do a key tester as well. Let's do this. Test matrix. Test matrix. Awesome. I didn't mess up any keys. Uh-oh, my left key. My left key, okay. I'll probably fix that really quick. Okay, let's see. Uh, what key cap should I put on this? I think, hmm. Should I do white on black cat key caps? Or actually orange on black cat key caps? Or should I do dolt? What do you guys think? Actually, hold on, wait. I should probably verify that those kits support this layout before I say anything else. <laughs> Let's see. EPBT dolts. What do you, what do you support? Mm, I think I might have trouble with the two space bars there. Mmm. Maybe, maybe. Could probably do Dolch. Probably do Dolch. Let's do Dolch. We'll try. We'll try. Let, let me grab Dolch. We can do Dolch. I will have to borrow from another board though. Just because I've put Dolch on the... But we can make it happen. We can make it happen. Let's put the function keys on first. Let's make it happen. Function keys. Let's see, I'm gonna put a escape key there. Let's do F1. F2, F3. You think this will look very nice? I don't know. Maybe. Function keys in the house, yeah. I'm not going to use this as a number, that's just too weird for me. Okay, who would dream to ask me anything? Moose says, Carl, I can't decide, I'm buying, am I buying this thing or not? I have no idea what you're buying, but buy it. <laughs> the answer is always buy. Which is probably the worst financial advice you will ever hear, but, you know. Don't take financial advice from a guy in a wizard hat, right? <laughs> Don't take financial advice from a guy in a wizard hat. Ugh. I'm like pulling off the keycap simultaneously. 
Oh well. Oh crap. That was a bad thing to do with the Bacaneco. <laughs> I pulled out the side switch by accident and the O-ring just slid in. Shoot. Oh well. Oh well. It, it is what it is. Bakaneko worth getting if you have a Tofu 65. Um, it is a better feel, it is a better sound, but I feel like the difference between the two is so minimal. Like I, I'd say it's probably maybe a $20 difference, but if you're buying a buck, you know, like a Bakaneko, you're essentially spending an additional 130 plus the cost of building a board, switches, lube, keycap you know that it's like honestly think it's not worth it say if you already have a tofu like save up for something better like it's definitely a better board just not that much better oh wait wait, wait. this channel is not about financial advice Buy that Bacaneco. Actually, buy buy the CL and the CNC Bacaneco while you're at it. Would you recommend as an upgrade from a KBD75, KBD75 to a Bacaneco? Um, those are two completely different boards. One is a 75%, one is a 60%. So that is a lot harder to answer. All right, let me turn off my music, turn off my crisp, and we can do an actual typing sounds test. Will I remove all this? Okay, that's so weird. Apparently this, this LED right here is tied into the underglow, but for some reason, it's flickering for some odd reason. There we go, it, it, it flickers and then it breathes. That's really weird. That's really weird. That's so weird. Lightning keyboards rating with a party of 94. Dude, thank you. Thank you for sending all your people my way. You are just in time for the typing sounds test. If it's your first time here, thanks for joining in. My name is Merlin. I build keyboards. I report on keyboard group buys and I do coding for QMK. There we go. Let's turn off crisp. You guys will hear what my room sounds like. Okay, this is built with polycar plate, uh, gasket mount, lubed and filled al alpacas. I'm so used to like hitting enter over here that I hit the metal. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, everything, Um, if you guys haven't noticed, this board is missing two columns. The, the, the two columns here are typically your subtraction, addition, brackets, semicolon, double quotes. So yeah. But yeah, uh, quick first impression. I like the sound. I'm normally a thockier guy, but I do appreciate a good clack. And this is a good clack. This is the kind of clack that I like. Um, it also surprisingly feels very good to me. Like my frame of reference for the last couple of days has been a Sunsetter R1, brass plate, also gasket mounted. And I'm gonna say like, I liked how this felt. This guy sounds and feels better than the Sunsetter R1 in this configuration. So yeah, I, I quite like it. I quite like how it feels, I like how it sounds. Um, layout remains to be seen. Like, as you guys can see, I'm already like having problems hitting like the enter key. So we'll see throughout the week here. 
Here, let's tap on it a little more. Maybe I'll get used to it. But yeah, this, this is really odd. I am not a 40% user at all. The smallest board that I use regularly is a 60%. So yeah, we'll, we'll try it out. We'll try it out. Yeah, uh, I don't know, maybe I should join the 40s Discord and be like, Hey guys, I got a 40%! And they'll all like laugh at me and be like, No, Merlin, that's not a 40%. But yeah, this, this board sounds and feels really darn good. I just, oh, that's so weird. Look at that. I normally have my pinky on semicolon, but now it's on enter. That's so weird. Okay, one more typing test, so just so I can get used to it. I did it again. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I like it. I actually really like it. I just, uh, not sure if I can sustain typing on it. <laughs> Ten Peter says, oh my god, you are the first content creator that uses pinky for P. Really? I thought that was how you normally are supposed to type. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for the bit donation. Thank you so much. Looks like you donated 20 bits. Thank you. Bunar says, I realized I was not destined for the 40% life and I won a small raffle spot and then suffered 24 hours and missed the invoice. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ah, uh, wow. Darn, I really wish this was in a better layout. But, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I I will have to say that flickering LED over here. See, let's see if I, if I can get it to replicate. Did, did you guys see that? Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if it does it again. Oh. That's so weird. Oh, it's like w when it's going from an off state to like brightening up, that's when it flickers. There, it just flickered. Doesn't happen on this strip, but on this. So that would imply that there's some kind of a, you know, something with the resistors that they used, maybe? Maybe? I've not seen this on any other board. But here, let me just see if I can fix that in, in VIA. Let's see if I can fix that up. If I can adjust the lighting. Let's see, I have it. Underglow effect speed is set to the lowest. Um, let's make it faster so I can... Let's see, did that change anything? Yep, it did. It did. So it needs to be set pretty high. Let's do half or a quarter. Will a quarter speed? Nope. Qu quarter speed messes it up. So it does need to be set relatively high in order for it to work. That's unfortunate. Oh no, that still failed. Here, let's go to very top. Yep, okay. Yeah, there's something wrong with the circuit there. That probably wasn't properly implemented. And the thing is, you can't exactly turn just that off. So that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Merlin, can you change the, change the what? Can you change the LED to match the keycap greenish? Sure. Let's say green. Or rather, you know, since this is sky dolch, a light blue would probably work better. Mm, let's see. 
yeah, that's about right. Right there, the greenish blue. Maybe a little bit more blue. There we go. There we go. That's it. There we go. That, that, that does look better. Oh man, that's that thing is so annoying. Okay, that's gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me so much. Ugh. Okay, hopefully they fix that. Like, unfortunately, it is an in-stock board, so whatever ships to you guys might have the same issues. Huh. Very unfortunate. Yeah, it's definitely like a resistor issue, but oh well. Oh well. Yeah, uh, what else can I say about this board? Really like, like it looked like the quality, like the anodization quality or, or the e-black quality was really spot on. I didn't see any, any, uh, scratches, any, any streaking whatsoever. Um, turned out to be a very good feeling board when typing and also sounds pretty darn good. It actually really surprised me. I was I was secretly hoping I wouldn't like it because I was like, don't really want to use a board with this layout. But now that it looks good, it types good, it feels good, I now have the motivation to try and like this board. Luca says Merlin has found his true endgame board. No, this is not my endgame board. My endgame board is this one. This is the endgame board. <laughs> This is the end game board, and this one has the ultimate LEDs. Look at that. Look at that. Ultimate LEDs right there. <laughs> so yeah, overall, overall I quite like it. It's, it's a shame I might have to turn off the um, RGBs. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna try my best to, to like the layout. I'll probably ping the 40s Discord to see if they have any cool um, layer mapping that I can do. Um, I'd like to avoid having to use the function keys for anything. I'd like to try and learn to use specifically this portion and the arrow keys. So, so we'll see. Your crush purpose do they ship to the US? Escape.hit? Um, Escape.hit should. Just because that's where, that's where I got it from. And I am in Seattle, Washington. Here, let me paste the link right there again. You may not like it, but this is the ideal keyboard layout. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is a $270 board. You have your option of blue, silver, rose gold, lavender, or e-white, e-black, which is what I have and gray, you can choose either the wired version or the Bluetooth version. Keep in mind, if you go with the Bluetooth version, you won't really have access to VIA or possibly even QMK. I think you'll be using TMK in that regard or some other custom key mapper. Uh, what else can I say about this? Currently in stock, the first 200 units, anything past that is grouped by. Um, this this buy period, this group buy slash in stock period is open from October 20th or October 19th if you're here in the United States to November 19th. So yeah, check it out if you guys have the chance. Um, what else can I say about this board? Overall, it's been a good ex good experience. Um, but yeah, I just have to get used to this layout. If you hear me complaining about this within the week, I'll probably put it away, but I'm really going to try. I'm really going to try this. Just because this board feels too good and sounds too good to just pass up. You know? I'll finish this off with one last typing sounds test. And hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend here. Let's do this. One last typing sounds.
<laughs> Keep doing it. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining in. Uh, once again, this is the it is the High Finger 7.5, formerly known during the IC phase as the Extreme 75. I built it with a polycarb plate, lubed and filmed alpacas, topped with EPBT ABS Sky Dolch. Um, feels good, sounds good, looks good, but layout is something I'm going to have to learn to like. Yeah, thanks guys for joining in. My next stream will be this coming Thursday in which I unbox my key cult. So if you guys want to see me unbox that, tune in Thursday, 7.30 p.m. PDT. Hope the rest of you have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you all whenever. Goodbye, everyone.